Hello, rise and shine on this beautiful Monday morning. You're listening to Scott and Holly and the gang. And in the words of Matt Bianco, get up, get up, get out of your lazy bed. Now then, did you know that 61% of men don't do what? Before they go to work, don't phone in. It's just... <laughs> Miss Holly with the broi. Scotty! Yay! Go for it. Is it 61% of men... Don't brush their teeth before they go to work. Oh. Oh. I even flossed, I'll have you know. What with? A spring onion? Ouch! I can exclusively reveal that the answer is, in fact... Coming up right after this. Come on, light my fire! Choose from a great selection of log-burning stills now available at Fires R Us. Just off Junction 10 at the M25. Sail now on... Tell them the big man sent you and get an extra 5% off. Fires are us. Hurry. Offer available only while stocks last. Oh, and uh, uh, Colin. Colin? Yes, you. Be clear, be safe. What? I said be clear, be safe. And don't forget your lunch. It's your favourite, Coronation Chicken. <laughs> the brand new Bounce and Shine shampoo with added bounce and added shine. Be the envy of your friends as you bounce and shine everywhere you go. Available at all good shampoo stockists. Terms and conditions apply. Bye, everyone. See you tonight. Bye. Yeah, bye, Dad. Have a good day. Thanks for going to work and earning a living while we all stay in bed. Nice. I'll be back down in a minute. I'll, uh, I'll just sort this out. <sighs> hey, sorry, lad. Sorry I'm late. Uh, you'll not believe what's happened to me today. Picture the scene, right? Uh, I get up, have my breakfast, go on my front door and bang, and it hits me. Car's gone. Vanished into thin air. Or so I thought. <laughs> Then I remember Jade, my 22-year-old daughter. Yeah, how could I forget, eh? I mean, why she's still living at home, I've no idea. Ask her mother. <laughs> anyway, she'd borrowed the car, right? And gone and seen her mate up in Dagnum. Turns out she's overdone it with the old Vino, gets the cab home. So, where does that leave me, I hear you ask? <laughs> well, I'll tell you where it leaves me. Right up the creek without a paddle. Never mind a car. <laughs> anyway, look, uh, OK. Right, so I've been to the uh, start of shift briefing, the SOS briefing. There's a mobile crane on site with the uh, exclusion zone. Uh, there's some new scaffolding near the entrance to the routes into the site. Right, uh, they've put some new walkways up. Um, I'm not sure where they lead to. You'll just have to follow the signage. I'm sure you'll find your way around. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, there's a concrete port today. It's uh, probably in section A or section B. Not quite sure. 
and uh, oh yeah, they want us to uh, try and finish our, our work by the end of the week, eh? <laughs> hey, yeah, did anyone see the football last night, eh? Yeah. Why do they still play him, eh? Runs around like headless chicken, yeah, misses an open goal, then gets sent off for arguing with the ref. I mean, all that, <laughs> all that for over 200k a week, eh? Oh dear. Oh look, it's, uh, it's nearly 8 o'clock already, let's try and get through this as quick as possible. Yeah. Right, uh, risk assessment method statement, that's rams to you lot. Well, look, br briefly, what, what we've got to do is put some steel up, yeah? All the machinery's on site, cherry pickers, etc. I'll have to go and check where they are. And uh, anyway, you've, you've done it a thousand times, so... Stop! Man alive! Colin's alive! Oh, Colin, Colin, I can't bear this any longer. Who are you? Oh, never mind about that. What on earth do you think you're doing? A briefing? Really? Well, not a very good one. Uh, what do you mean? You're all over the place. Did you prepare? Um. Uh, did you set aside enough time? Well, uh... And are you taking it seriously? I, uh... Exactly! Go out and do it again! What? You heard! What, now? Yes! Why? Because it's not good enough, and it's not how we do things! Well, uh... What about, uh... <laughs> oh, they won't mind. They don't want to hear about the car, the football, the fact that Jade's going out with a fireman called Barry. Is she? I didn't know that. They just want to know how to do their job safely. I need some help, uh, you know, uh, a few tips. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, all right, as it's you. You need to think about the key messages. What are you going to say? What will you be asked? Don't rush it. This is really important. And try to keep it simple. Be positive, be confident, and be brave! Brave? I made that one up. Oh, yeah. oh and Colin? Yes? Is this the right place? How do you mean? To have the briefing. Is this the right place? where all the drawings are and the, and the plans. <laughs> well, fair enough. But you could try it on sight. Hmm. Uh, one last thing. Yes? Be clear, be safe, and don't forget your lunch. It really is your favourite. What is it with you and my lunch? <laughs> you, you won't be disappointed. Morning, lads. Okay, can I have your attention for a few minutes? Mobiles and papers down, please, so we can go through your safety briefing. I've been to the start of shift briefing to find out what else is happening on the site. And the things that are relevant to us are, there is a mobile crane on site today. It's working at the back of the site in block B, in addition to ours. There will be an exclusion zone set up for the other crane, so do bear that in mind. There is scaffolding being erected on site too. This means that there will be diversions to the walkways to site. There will be signs to direct you and take you to your workplace. There will be a concrete pour on at block A. This means that there will be concrete wagon deliveries. Please be aware of vehicle movements. And finally, before we go on to our rams, remember you were issued these commitment cards at your induction. If it's not safe, stop work and tell someone. Now on to our actual work. 
I've been down to site already to check out where we're working. Access is good, the workplace has been prepared and is ready for us to set up and get started. Our job today is to erect steelwork in Block B. I will supervise the work and I have been through the detailed drawings with you so you do know the work sequence. We shall be using two cherry pickers today. These have already been delivered to the workplace and are ready for us, but please do remember to do your pre-start checks first. We will be working with the mobile crane. There is a lift plan in place and you have been briefed on that. The steelwork is all ready to be slung and lifted and our slinger signaller is bright. Psst! Colin! Colin! Not you again! Oh, now don't be like that. Okay. What do you think? I'm trying really hard. I did the prep. Set aside plenty of time. I even checked where all the equipment is. Bravo! Bravo! You did very well! Thanks. <laughs> but. Yeah, there's always a but. What about your audience? What about them? How do you know they understood? Did you check? Didn't have to. You always need to. It's important. Ask some questions. Get them involved. You must make sure they know how to get their job done safely. Oh, OK, fair play. I'll make sure I do that. Promise? Promise. Good. Do you think you could leave me now? Please. Then my work here is done. <sighs> right, so who's the first aid this week? That's me, yeah. Oh, did you manage to get on that course last week? Yeah, did the si health and safety stuff yeah. and everything. Was it worth going? Worth yeah, going? well, yeah. Good. Right, what, we do, what do we have to do with the cherry pickers, lads? Uh, we'll keep eye out, make sure we do our safety checks, Gav. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. about the uh, concrete pour? What do uh, we have to look out for? Traffic movement, mate. Yeah. 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 yeah, they set it up as well. Yeah, it's been bad enough. It's a big pour, so I suspect yeah. there'll be a lot of traffic, so really be careful about that, yeah. Right, I've briefed you in the office, but before we do anything, let's go through this again. I want everyone to understand exactly what they have to do to do this job safely. Thanks for joining us, Brian. Now, Brian, you're the crane supervisor and the slinger signal. Once we're all happy with the job and the sequence, your job will be to coordinate between the crane driver, Terry, and the two teams. And that includes the usage of signals and the radio. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the crane is getting ready to set up, as we discussed earlier. Uh, I haven't seen your cherry pickers, by the way. Mm. OK, fine. Now, we're lifting and fixing these steels in this area. We'll look at the drawings in the moment. The crane will be supplying us, and we shall be working from two cherry pickers. The slab has been handed over to us, so we should, therefore, be the only ones in the area. Put the barriers up to form an exclusion zone anyway. Let's make sure nobody is affected by what we do, and that what we do doesn't affect the safety of others. OK, so what's our biggest risk here today, lads? Don't be shy. What's going to hurt you or your mate if we don't go about our work professionally? Well, I mean, we're working out of cherry pickers, so I suggest folding. That's right, Rod. That and getting crushed by the steel frames we're putting up or the steel structure that we're marrying the frame onto. It's important that we do this safely. And to do that, we have to do it in the right order. So let's take a look at the drawing so that everyone knows the sequence. Now, we're here, working in this slab, this area here. Team one will be Rod and Andy, team two will be Shane and Pete. Rod and Andy, you're starting over here on grid line one. Pete and Shane, over here at grid line eight. That way the two operations won't meet and we avoid any clashes. Now, you all have your gear, everyone has their harnesses and lanyards and you have inspected them. You've got your impact wrenches and your torque wrenches for the steel work. Now, I must remind you that we have done a HAVS assessment and you have signed on to that. Now, this gives you 23 minutes maximum trigger time. I will monitor and record the times for that. As you know, they're all very noisy, so make sure that you wear your ear protection. Team 1 will be receiving the first steals from the crane. You know the driver, Terry, because we've worked with him before. Mm. And the steals will be lifted in from this direction. I have the lift plan and the permit to lift here with me. 
The chains and the tackle are supplied by the crane company. It's a standard setup for us. One set of four leg three ton brothers and two three ton nylon straps. Cal, I'm a bit confused, mate. You said earlier back at the office, right, that the cherry pickers were out and they'd been checked out. It's like Brian said, I've looked, I can't see them, mate. All I see is those two scissor lifts over there. Kidding me, aren't you? No, no, mate. Right. I've definitely seen some cherry pickers here today. Have a look, mate. Right, come on. Let's go and see exactly what we have got. Right. We were supposed to have cherry pickers delivered. They've dropped off some scissor lifts. I can't do the job with those, it's not safe. The only cherry pickers I know of are the ones for Kirkland. Looks like the cherry pickers I saw weren't for us after all. I should be fine before what we're going to do today. Cranes here, it's going to cost a fortune to send it back now. Yeah, it's not exactly ideal, but um, I'm sure we should get by. No, 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 we'll end up struggling. Look, lads, right, you know how tricky it is, even with good cherry pickers, right, to get them in just the right position to get the stills cut off, right? I'm not putting myself up or any of you lads to have an accident. I'll tell you something else, but it's, well, it's going to take ages to try and get these scissor lifts in position, right? You know what'll happen, don't you, right? We'll end up rushing, someone's going to get hurt. That's it. We'll end up... Leaning out of the basket, someone's going to end up taking a tumble. That's what I'm saying. No one wants to stop the job, mate, but listen, at the end of the day, what does it cost Dan keep telling us? Right? If it ain't safe, stop the job, tell someone. In fact, hold on, listen. Commitment cards, mate. You even talked about it in the brief, right? Your safety, your health, your well-being. I'm sticking to it, mate. What I suggest you do is stop this, find a safe way to crack on. You're right. Come on, let's go back to the office. You lot grab yourself a cuppa, talk over what we're doing, and you can tell me your views later. I'll have to go through all this with Costain. If there are going to be changes, we'll need Costain to approve them anyway. And Colin, I meant to ask, uh, how was your lunch? I love pork pie oh, with no. a little bit of pickle. Oh, it's lovely. I'm gooey. No! I'm gorgeous with that jelly. Oh, 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 and, 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 and I've got some juice with it. And, and, and I share it with my Jack Russell. Oh, he, he has bits of the crust. I've got a little bit of meat in it. He loves the gelatin in it as well. You get all kinds of things in it. Oh, yum, 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 yum. The Save Start tools are there to help you as a manager or supervisor on our contracts. How you deliver inductions, start a shift and RAM's briefings is fundamental to keeping your colleagues safe at work. So let us recap on what your approach must be to ensure your briefing to your workforce enables them to start work safely. Take time to think about what you're going to say. Know the workplace, make a list of the key points you need to get across, and be positive. Never brief your team unless you have personally visited the place you will be working. Where is the best place to brief? In the office, where you need drawings, technical information, plans or people, or on the job, where the key messages in the RAMs are better explained on site. It is often best to brief in the office and at the workplace just before starting, allowing you to do a final check that all is in order before starting work. How you say it, how you deliver and present the briefing, is just as important as what you say. Keep it simple, speak clearly and say it like you mean it. A weak delivery will not be convincing. Leave your team in no doubt that they must work safely and to plan. Set aside enough time to do the briefing. A rush briefing helps nobody. Be professional in your delivery. 
Ask your audience. Right at the outset, ask the audience to input to the briefing as you go. Ask individuals to run through their understanding of what you have said. You can do this as you go or at the end. But do test understanding. Know your audience. Understand the abilities and competences of your workforce. Allocate roles wisely. Monitor carefully. Watch for reactions. Show respect. Show you are actively listening. Uh, people will know if you are not. Challenge appropriately. It is important that you are listened to. Where individuals do not listen, then challenge this respectfully. Be effective. Preparation. Be engaging and be sure. Check again that what you have briefed to your teams is actually what is happening out on site. Resources. Readiness. Ensure you know that the plant, equipment and tools are available to do the job. And don't start unless you have everything and every one you need. Test understanding. Managers and GFs should test for knowledge of the rams in the field and that a brief has been carried out. Ask operatives during their morning rounds on site. Check delivery. Managers should randomly attend briefings. They are there so everyone can have a safe start. Be clear. Be safe. And remember, our work is never so important or urgent that we cannot take the time to do it safely. Be safe.